2024 was a big year for Caterpillar, with new machines, smarter technology, and a stronger push toward electrification and automation. From revealing fully autonomous mining trucks to introducing battery electric loaders and energy transfer systems, the company made some strong advancements in reducing emissions, cutting fuel costs, and improving efficiency. At events like CES 2024 and Mine Expo, Caterpillar showcased innovations aimed at making job sites more productive and sustainable. Here are our picks of Caterpillar's most notable releases of 2024. One of the biggest highlights for Caterpillar in 2024 was its strong push toward electrification and energy solutions. This was evident in the company's participation at CES 2024, where it showcased some of its latest advancements in electric machinery and sustainable job site solutions. Caterpillar's presence at the event was all about demonstrating how construction and mining equipment could evolve to meet modern needs, with a clear focus on efficiency and environmental impact. At CES 2024, Caterpillar introduced a lineup of electric machines designed to cater to industries looking for alternatives to traditional diesel-powered equipment. Among the key products showcased was a zero-exhaust emission underground loader. This machine comes equipped with an onboard battery and fast charging capabilities, making it a viable option for operations that require continuous use without long downtimes. Underground loaders play a crucial role in mining and tunnel construction, and having a battery-powered version means that companies can reduce emissions in enclosed environments where air quality is a major concern. Another notable release was the Electric Mini Excavator, a smaller piece of equipment designed for urban job sites and projects where space is limited. Traditional excavators rely on diesel engines, which can be loud and emit pollutants, but an electric version offers a quieter and cleaner alternative. This makes it an attractive option for contractors working in residential areas or locations with strict emissions regulations. Beyond individual machines, Caterpillar also showcased its broader approach to job site electrification. The company presented an integrated system that goes beyond just electric machinery. It includes on-site power generation, energy storage, charging infrastructure, and digital monitoring tools. This means that rather than simply selling electric machines, Caterpillar is looking at the bigger picture, helping companies transition to electrified job sites with a full range of support solutions. The on-site power generation component focuses on providing job sites with their own sources of electricity. Many construction and mining projects take place in remote locations where access to grid power is either unreliable or non-existent. Caterpillar solutions offer ways for companies to generate power on site which is crucial for ensuring that electric machines remain operational without delays. Energy storage is another key piece of the puzzle. Since construction and mining equipment often requires high energy output, reliable storage solutions are needed to maintain efficiency. Caterpillar demonstrated battery storage systems designed to hold and distribute power as needed, making sure that electric machines can run for long hours without interruption. To support these electric machines, the company also unveiled charging infrastructure. Unlike consumer electric vehicles, construction and mining equipment require specialized charging solutions that can handle high power demands. Caterpillar's charging stations are built to provide fast and efficient charging, reducing downtime and keeping operations running smoothly. Additionally, Caterpillar introduced digital monitoring systems that help track energy usage, battery life, and overall machine performance. These systems provide real-time data allowing operators to optimize their workflows and avoid unexpected breakdowns or efficiencies. Caterpillar's focus on electrification at CES 2024 reflects the industry's broader shift toward reducing emissions and improving efficiency. Many construction and mining companies are under increasing pressure to lower their carbon footprint, whether due to regulatory requirements or the rising cost of fuel. By offering a combination of electric machinery and comprehensive support systems, Caterpillar is positioning itself as a key player in the transition toward more sustainable heavy equipment solutions. The real test for these technologies, however, will be their adoption in the field. While the company has made significant process in electrification, many factors will determine how quickly the industry moves away from diesel-powered equipment. 
Questions remain about long-term battery performance, charging infrastructure availability, and the overall cost-effectiveness of these new machines compared to their traditional counterparts. Hey, I'm popping in really quick. My name is William. I run the channel here at Extreme Force. I also run a premium merino wool sock brand for trade workers called Camel City Mill. Now, we offer three lengths. These socks are perfect. We have the boot cut, the crew, and the ankle. These socks are perfect if you struggle with sweaty feet, if you're on your feet for 12, 14 hours a day, if you work in the trades, anything where any hard work is necessary, then you need our socks and there are three main reasons why. Reason number one is if you struggle with sweaty, stinky feet, using a merino wool sock, that's gonna help you tremendously. Number two, we don't use any merino wool. We use a special proprietary yarn called Ironside Merino Wool. The way we kind of spin that together, it makes our socks twice as durable compared to regular merino wool. Here's an example where I'm picking up a 15 pound kettlebell with a single thread of our Ironside Merino wool. Not only that, but we also do double plated nylon fortification in the toe and in the heel. This makes our socks so durable that we offer a 10 year durability guarantee. So that means if you get a hole in your socks within the first 10 years, no joke, you can send them back to us. We'll give you a brand new pair completely free. The third thing you're gonna love about these socks is that they are 100% USA made. So our factory is in North Carolina, the wool's in North Carolina. We're a North Carolina company. We're really proud about that. North Carolina is the hosiery sock capital of the United States. We're right there, we're epicenter. So if you like American made products, if you like an American made pair of socks, it has a 10 year durability guarantee that will give you dry, comfortable feet. Even if you're working a 14 hour shift in 100 degree weather, make that feel like easy mode. If you want a pair of these socks right now, use the link down in the description below. We'll hook you up. Thank you again for watching Extreme Force. Now let's get back to the video. In 2024, Caterpillar made a significant step forward in autonomous machinery with the launch of its fully autonomous CAT 777 off-highway truck. This development is particularly important because it marks the first time that autonomous technology has been deployed in the aggregates industry, a sector that includes quarries, gravel pits, and mining operations for crushed stone, sand, and gravel. The demonstration took place at Luckstone's Bull Run plant in Virginia a site that was selected to showcase how automation could improve efficiency and safety in quarry operation. The CAT 777 is a 100-ton class off-highway truck, meaning that it is built to handle extremely heavy loads in rugged environments. What makes this version different from previous models is its ability to operate without a driver. Using advanced sensors, GPS, and artificial intelligence, the truck can navigate through the job site, transport materials, and adjust to changing conditions all without human intervention. Now this is a big deal for industries that rely on these trucks because removing the need for a driver can increase efficiency and reduce operational costs. Caterpillar's expansion into the aggregates industry with autonomous trucks is noteworthy because up until now, this technology was mainly used in large scale mining operations. Mines have been using self-driving haul trucks for years particularly in places like Australia and Canada, where remote operations benefit from automation. However, quarries and aggregate sites have different needs, and the adoption of autonomous technology in these settings requires a unique approach. One of the biggest advantages of autonomous machinery is safety. Large trucks operating in mining and quarry environments pose risk to workers, especially in high traffic areas. By eliminating the need for a driver, the CAT 777 can reduce accidents caused by human error, such as fatigue, distractions, or miscalculations. The truck is programmed to follow precise paths, maintain safe distances from other vehicles, and respond to obstacles in real time, making it a reliable solution for quarry operations. Beyond safety, there is also the issue of labor shortages in the heavy equipment industry. Finding skilled operators for large mining and quarry trucks has become increasingly difficult, and autonomous technology helps bridge that gap. Instead of relying on a team of human drivers, quarry operators can deploy self-driving trucks that work around the clock, without the need for shift changes, breaks, or rest periods. This can lead to greater efficiency and productivity in material transportation. The introduction of the autonomous CAT 777 also highlights Caterpillar's broader goal of making autonomous technology scalable and economically viable. Until recently, fully autonomous machinery was mainly used in large-scale mining operations with deep pockets and high budgets. But Caterpillar is aiming to make this technology more accessible for smaller operations, such as quarries, which might not have the same level of investment capital. 
To achieve this, the company is focusing on creating modular and adaptable autonomous systems. Instead of requiring companies to buy entirely new fleets, Caterpillar is working on retrofitting existing equipment with autonomous capabilities. This approach allows companies to upgrade their machinery gradually, reducing the financial burden of transitioning to automation. The CAT777 serves as a test case for how this technology can be adapted to different work environments while remaining cost-effective. The demonstration at Luckstone's bull run was more than just a product launch. It was a real-world test to see how well the autonomous system could handle a quarry setting. Unlike open pit mines, which are vast and relatively uniform, quarries tend to have tighter spaces, variable terrain, and mix of different equipment working together. This meant that the CAT777 software had to be fine-tuned to navigate the specific challenges of quarry operations, ensuring that it could function smoothly in a highly dynamic worksite. Another key consideration is autonomous operations is data collection and analytics. Every movement of the CAT777 is tracked and analyzed using advanced telematics. This allows quarry operators to monitor truck performance, optimize haul routes, and reduce fuel consumption. Over time, this data-driven approach can lead to cost savings by improving efficiency and reducing unnecessary wear and tear on the trucks. At Mine Expo 2024, Caterpillar introduced some of its most advanced mining technologies yet, with a strong focus on energy efficiency, automation, and sustainability. Among the standout innovations was the CAT Dynamic Energy Transfer DET system a new technology designed to improve energy management in mining trucks. This system is capable of transferring energy to both diesel electric and battery electric large mining trucks while they are in operation, a major development in how mining fleets manage power consumption. The goal of the DET system is simple, reducing operating costs and lower greenhouse gas emissions. Mining trucks require an enormous amount of energy to function and traditional diesel-powered models burn through large amounts of fuel. With DET, energy can be distributed more efficiently between different types of trucks, making the entire fleet more energy conscious. This is especially useful for mixed fleet operations, where a mine might have both battery electric and diesel electric vehicles working together. One of the biggest tests for the DET system will be its planned trials with BHP Group, one of the world's largest mining companies. The system will be put to the test in iron ore and copper operations, including at the Escondida mine in Chile, which is the largest copper mine in the world. And if these trials prove successful, it could lead to wider adoption of the technology across the mining industry, offering companies a way to cut fuel costs while reducing emissions. Alongside the DET system, Caterpillar showcased several new and updated mining machines, each designed to enhance efficiency and sustainability in large-scale mining operations. One of the most notable pieces of equipment was the CAT 798 AC mining truck, which has been configured for autonomous haulage. This means that the truck is capable of operating without a driver. Using advanced sensors and AI-driven software to navigate the mine site, transport materials, and respond to changes in the environment in real time. The shift toward autonomous mining trucks has been gaining traction over the last decade, especially in remote mining sites where labor shortages can be a challenge. The CAT 798 AC is designed to operate 24-7 with minimal human intervention, reducing downtime and improving overall efficiency. While fully autonomous mining trucks are not yet standard across the industry, Caterpillar's advancements in self-driving haulage technology suggest that widespread adoption is only a matter of time. Another key innovation unveiled at Mine Expo 2024 was the CAT R1700XE Load Haul Dump, the LHD Loader, which features battery electric propulsion. This machine is specifically designed for underground mining operations where diesel emissions can be a major health and safety concern. Unlike traditional LHD loaders, which rely on diesel engines that produce exhaust fumes, the R1700XE runs entirely on battery power, eliminating emissions and significantly reducing ventilation costs in underground mines. A similar innovation was the CAT R2900XE LHD, which comes with high-efficiency electric drive system. Like the R1700XE, this model is designed to minimize diesel dependency, 
offering mining companies a more sustainable option for underground material handling. Both machines represent a shift in how underground mining operations are approaching energy use, with an increasing emphasis on battery electric solutions. To support these new electric machines, Caterpillar also showcased its latest energy storage solutions, including the PGS-1260 HD Energy Storage System, the ESS module, and the MEC-5000 Mobile Equipment Charger. These systems are designed to help mining companies manage power consumption and ensure that electric machines have access to fast and reliable charging. The PGS-1260 HD Energy Storage System is a heavy-duty battery module that acts as a backup power source, allowing mining sites to store and distribute electricity more efficiently. Instead of relying solely on traditional power grids or diesel generators, mines can use stored energy to power electric vehicles and machinery when needed. This reduces reliance on fossil fuels and ensures that electric equipment remains operational even in remote locations with limited infrastructure. The MEC500 Mobile Equipment Charger is another critical part of Caterpillar's electrification strategy. Unlike stationary charging stations, which require vehicles to return to a specific location for charging, the MEC500 is mobile, meaning it can be moved to different areas of a mining site. This allows electric machines to charge in the field, minimizing downtime and improving overall productivity. The combination of new mining trucks, battery electric loaders, and advanced energy solutions showcased at Mine Expo 2024 highlights Caterpillar's continued efforts to make mining more efficient and environmentally friendly. While the industry as a whole is still transitioning toward full electrification and automation, these innovations suggest that the shift is happening faster than many expected. Mining companies around the world are facing increasing pressure to reduce emissions and lower operational costs, and technologies like DET, autonomous trucks, and battery electric loaders provide those practical solutions to these challenges. However, the success of these innovations will depend on real-world testing, industry adoption, and the ability to scale these technologies in large mining operations. The trials with BHP Group at Escondida and other mining sites will be crucial in determining how effective the DET system is in improving energy efficiency. Likewise, the deployment of autonomous mining trucks and electric loaders will need to prove cost-effective and reliable before widespread adoption takes place. So, what are your thoughts on CATS 2024? Let us know down in the comments below.